Well, 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 another day, another day. What, how does that saying go? Another day? Another day, <laughs> okay. Another day, another 24 hours of an online shopping addiction. Here's the deal with online shopping. More often than not, it costs money to get the thing you want. It's a bummer, I know, but it does, it does cost money, which I reject. I refuse to accept, I don't accept. If you're like me and you love to shop, but you hate giving people your money, this is a video for you. There are a bunch of huge hacks to save money online. These are the two biggest ones that I use time and time again. They really will save you money from the perspective of an obsessive online shopper and a software developer. Two huge hacks that you probably don't know about. Here we go, let's kick it. Is it, it's, it's, what week is it? It's. Thanksgiving week. It's Thanksgiving week. I couldn't remember the word for Thanksgiving for a second. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's Thanksgiving. My family is hosting. My mom is an amazing, amazing chef, and I will be helping her in the kitchen. I'm really in it for the aprons. I have a lot of really cute aprons. So I'm gonna be sporting a cute apron, and what I really will be into is like decorating, setting the table. I like to make place setting cards. I like to go and like get little leaves or berries or grasses or something from outside and kind of like hot glue them to a little card and then it's just very easy simple fall evocative festive place cards everybody always loves them i'm heavy into tablecloths these days it's gonna be sweet it's gonna be sweet as can be but i also have a oh 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 man more stuff to say i have a big <laughs> i have a pretty big announcement coming out next week pretty big announcement um some y'all gonna love it some y'all gonna hate it and that Tension is very exciting to me. So big announcement next week. That's all I'm gonna say. Stay tuned. Okay, here's the deal. I learned about both of these giant money-saving hacks for online shopping from two different routes. One from doing a ton of online shopping, especially for home decor, and I started to notice a pattern, a weird pattern with some of the real retailers. Also from my work as a software developer. This one company I worked for built and coded a lot of online stores. And the one thing I know is that these online stores, whether it's home decor or clothing or anything else, they will often show these little pop-ups, right? 15% off, 10% off, give us your email, give us your information to get some percent off. Giving them your information, that's a whole other discussion. But essentially, those pop-ups, if you want to use the discount from those pop-ups, those pop-ups don't trigger all the time. And this is why, this is what's going on. The store, via code, is trying to do its best guess at figuring out whether or not it's worth showing the customer that discount code. If they think you're really on the fence about the purchase, then they might show it to you. But if they think you're like very ready to buy, you are ready to purchase, they might not show it to you at all because whatever, you're gonna buy it anyway. It's a whole other complicated conversation, yes, but it's, uh, it's not always lascivious. Like sometimes, is lascivious the right word? Lascivious. Oh, that's, it's of a person revealing a sexual desire. I think I meant malicious. <laughs> Okay, it's not always incredibly malicious, but y'all, I wanna see it every time. I want the discount, yes I do. So here we go, this is what we're gonna do and this is how we're gonna get around it. So, first off, I'm gonna browse like a noob, okay? I'm gonna just do browsing, mm -mm -mm. CB2 rugs. We're gonna go to CB2. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna get this Elise hand-loomed viscose light brown area rug. Delightful. I like to buy it, and as you can see, there's no discount code or anything popping up. I'm gonna add it to cart, and when I do so, CB2, not showing me any kind of discount. They're playing hard to get, sneaky sneak. And the total with shipping is coming out to $705. Fine, so be it. However, let's, let's do this another way. Now on Chrome, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open an incognito window. There's the same thing on Safari. I think it's a, called a private window or there's the equivalent on Internet Explorer. Whatever century you're in, all you have to do is open your private browsing window so that you can explore the internet without any of your browsing history or information attached to you. They don't know where you're coming 
from, what page you're coming from, what site you're coming from. They don't know when you were last on the site. They don't know if you're ready to buy. They, they have no information about you in order to make a decision. So they're just gonna show you the pop-up no matter what. So that's why we're gonna go incognito. Now I'm gonna take the same route, CB2 area rugs. Shop, shop, shop. And there's my boy, click it. 15% off, there's my pop-up. What'd I tell you? See, okay. By going into a private browser window, we have showed up to the front door of CB2 and said, knock, 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 I'm here. And they're like, who is it? And I said, I'm not gonna tell you. And they said, fine, come on in and we'll give you a discount code. I said, okay, that's, that's what's going on. And this will work, it's not just CB2, it will work for any online store if you go to incognito. If they don't have any discounts set up at the time, then you're not gonna get one. But if there is something to trigger, this will trigger it. Now at this point, obviously they're asking for your email, which you can, you know, I'm not, that's a whole other conversation. I won't tell you whether it's worth it to you to give it to that. I hate, I hate giving them my personal information. That being said, I also love saving money. I will sell my soul to save a dollar, okay? And honest, to be fair, I put my entire life on the internet, so like, who am I kidding here? Yeah, I'll give them my email. I'll do it. I also sometimes like, I have a whole separate email account that I use just to give to websites, just the, and said so they can send me their spam, I don't care. But usually with a phone number, they'll probably verify that your phone number is real. That is annoying to me, but then you can just unsubscribe to the text alerts and I would just like to get the discount code. But you know, it's up to you, it's up to you. So giving them this phone number, blah, 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 blah. Go back over to the cart. I can apply my discount code. Look at that. It is a hundred dollars less, a hundred dollars less. I accept, I accept and actually I demand, I demand this. The moral of the story is we're gonna open a private browsing window. I only ever remember to do it when I'm at the checkout, but you can open it before. It will trigger a discount pop-up on any site that has one available. Don't online shop without it. Do not, $100? I feel good about that. I feel very well about this. Okay, before we get into part two, I need to get something off my chest. What I need to talk about is three of my favorite things. Online shopping, saving money, and um, my hand fetish. And when I say fetish, I've talked about it on the channel before. It's not sexual. I mean, it's not, it's not not sexual, but it's, it's more than that. It's so much more. Listen, it's all connected through the sponsor of today's video, which is Majuri. When I first started posting YouTube videos, the very first question I got all the time was people asking about my jewelry. Majuri's pieces are like a perfect melding of the classic chic jewelry style that I love that can play up my hand fetish. This gold guy is my everyday ring right now. He's not coming off of me. You really won't see me wearing anything but gold. I love the gold pieces Majuri has. It's very affordable, but extremely high quality. They have really nice stacking pieces. I like to stack these. <laughs> I will be buying them as gifts this holiday season. And by gifts, I mean to myself. Right now they're doing their biggest slash only <laughs> sale they ever do. You get 20% off if you spend 150 US dollars. You get 20% off everything. And I'm gonna tell you what I put in my shopping cart this season. I did all rings. I just love, I mean, it's also why I love like hand tattoos and stuff. I just love, I don't know. I'm fascinated by people's hands. I like seeing my own hands. I like playing them up, dressing them up. It's a sickness. I picked out four different rings that I've been wearing nonstop. My favorite everyday ring right now is the thin croissant dome ring in 14 karat gold. I'm wearing this every single day, pretty much no matter what, it just goes with everything. I also got the Pave Diamond Thin Dome Ring, which I feel like is a bit of a dressier look. In addition, I am loving the Pave Diamond Slim Signet Ring. It's just very sweet and delicate. And then I got one slightly chunkier one that I love for an everyday look which is the Charlotte ring. And it just feels like very chic, easy, and cute as heck. Let me tell you what, let me tell you what you need in your life. I don't know what you need, but I think you might need <laughs> some beautiful pieces of jewelry that are classic. They go with every single outfit I wear. So if you like the jewelry that you've seen in a lot of my videos, look it up. From November 23rd to 28th, their online sale is happening. Thank you for letting me share my hand fetish with you today. There's a lot more I could say about it, but this is YouTube and it's a family-friendly channel. Just kidding. And thanks to Majori. 
Going into hack number two, big old hack right here. And I've seen some people talk about this a bit on Instagram, but I feel like I'm, most people still don't know this. So listen up, y'all. I keep telling you to listen up like you're not watching the video. What am I shopping for? A chair, it's usually a chair. I'm shopping for a chair, let's say Burke Decor. See, I, I really do love this because it's basically a crib. It is one wall away from being a crib. And that is essentially what I'm trying to get to at all points in my life. I'm trying to get as close to a crib as possible. So this chair, I'm a big fan. $934, excellent. I, it's not really in my budget this month, I'll tell you that. But let's say it were. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take the image of this chair and do a Google image search to find out secrets about it. So what I usually do, you can just like right click and save the image or you can take a screenshot of it. On a Mac, you hold down Command, Shift, Four. I'm gonna take a screenshot, it's saved automatically. On a Windows, I'm gonna Google it. I'm not familiar, I don't speak Windows, but that's what you do, Google it. Now we're gonna go and open Google image search. Yes, excellent. And all we do is upload the image we just took. Boom, boom, boom. And it's going to pull up every time that this image is used across the internet, everywhere. This is, look at these, this is Look at all the different instances of this chair. Some monstrous company is selling this exact chair. It's not a dupe, it's the exact chair to a bunch of different retailers. And the retailers are deciding their own price for it. So there's a huge price variation for a lot of these items. We've got 1085, 1200, 934, 1099, like it's all over the place. Listen. They're, they're in cahoots. I just wanna make sure that if I'm buying the chair that I get the best price. And it actually looks like the one via, the chair via Burke Decor is on sale, so that actually looks like my best bet right now. So I can buy this chair knowing I've got the absolute best price on it available via online shopping. Do it. Every time, you gotta check, you gotta Google image search. This method saved me a bunch of money recently just in my kitchen makeover I did. My Lazy Girl Kitchen Makeover, check it out if you haven't, for a bunch of different items. Specifically though, I remember for the rug I bought. Let's look it up real quick. Okay, the exact same rug. It's being sold on Amazon, on Home Depot, Chris Loves Julia, Laloy. At Burke Decor, I got the two by three. $89, excellent clocked it. Now if we go back and let's look, Rugs Direct, two by three, it's $37, okay? That's less than, that's more than 50% less. Wait, it's 59% less <laughs> than buying it from Burke Decor. So, Burke Decor saved us on one front and it really screwed us on the other. The point is there's actually huge price variation Doing the Google image search always will work because they use the same photos, but a lot of time the retailers will also just copy paste and use the same item description. They often change the name of the product, but they usually don't take the time to write a new product description because we're all out here living a lazy life, same. So I just copy paste part of the product description. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Search it. Boom, there it is a hundred times. They're all using the same product description. One gal who's writing the descriptions for these products and she's got a life to live, so she's copy pasting. Okay, I gotta wrap this up. Basically, I want you to save your money, save it up and do, do whatever you want with it. You know, burn it, put it in a retirement fund, buy, buy your nephew a hot cocoa, get, get yourself a reflexology foot massage. Whatever you do with it, I support you. It's Thanksgiving. Feeling grateful for my family. Feeling grateful for everybody on this channel who shows up with me every week and makes me feel connected. And like I have a creative outlet and a place to sit and chit chat and connect. Majuri, thank you for sponsoring today's video. Is that weird if I kiss my own rings? Too late, it's in the video. Hope to see you guys all around the channel soon. More vlog content coming your way, more interior design content. I think that's all I have to say, I keep talking. Okay, I gotta go, bye. Thanks for hanging out. Open your private browsing windows, do it.